And once you're ready to start, you can choose your brush tool, make sure that you're on the right layer and that your layer is not locked. And you can start anywhere that you just feel like drawing. When you want to zoom in, press the Z key and then drag over the area that you'd like to draw on. If you press the space bar, you get the little hand so you can move around like this. If it's a little bit too big for you, just press command minus a few times until it gets to where you want to go. I'm going to choose the brush tool and then I'm going to choose inking brush medium. And I'm just going to simply start at one place and use pressure, thicker and thinner. You could trace over what you already have or you can improvise a little bit if you want to if you're working off a rougher sketch. Here's what it looks like just a line all by itself because I am clicking the visibility on and off. I'm going to press B again and come in here and I'm going to go thin and then press harder here and then press lighter here. I'll press harder sometimes where the line goes underneath to give it that sense of a shadow. And SpongeBob just happens to be a character with a lot of really cool shapes and I try to keep these lines not very even. I like to give them a little bit of life. I'm going to draw through this bubble and you can stop and start if you want to. Sometimes it gives you a lot more control. And you'll see that I don't like that line so I'm going to hit Command Z. And you can see that sometimes I'll make mistakes and go over lines or there'll be lines that don't quite match up like this one here. And basically all of those mistakes I'm going to fix later on in Photoshop because Illustrator does not have an easy to use eraser.